Dying Light 2. Where are you, Alfred? Oh my god. <laughs> You said don't follow you? Oh, I fell. <laughs> Dumb ways to die. I slid off the roof. I'm sorry. I need a hero. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. Lord have mercy. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Bro, who's preaching? Hey, what y'all whispering about? Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism. Belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds. On family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, this man talking I need like to know he... if you're a Jesus. sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? What should we say, Alfred? Are we about to kick some teeth then, or...? wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved then. 
A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business no. doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. He really doesn't. Bro, I will mop this whole community. I mean, he ain't that large. I can. Buddy, what is you breathing like that for? Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Oh, I can be uh, useful. What are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. To be poke and prod? Mm. Bro, I don't want Herman to choke me, so. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. As the sign says, oh, pilgrim needed. I was thinking that boy Herman tried to pick me up by my neck like I was lightweight. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their... F f f f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow! <laughs> Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... A uh, hundred and twenty... A uh, hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store and a windmill on the other side of the street. All right, thanks. Fashion store? I mean, I can, I can get fly while I'm there? I guarantee my... Uh... <laughs> She's a little old, but she got some nice long legs. What did he say? Hey! Oh. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. 
I'm throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. Fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. You can get Herman to do it. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, How do you, you think won't regret I... it. We still hey. have some time. How do you think I got my bomb marker? Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. I'm gonna say, bro, why? Herman, why are you stepping to me, man? You say he word. <laughs> Barney, what are you up to this time? <laughs> yeah, it's already getting dark already, so... Mission's kind of far away, too. Oh, boy. Seems I met Carl before you. And Sophie? <laughs> doing a thing for her now. A thing? I'm helping save her brother's ass. Good. Gain her trust. Sophie might know something about Lucas's death. Not much happens around here without her knowledge. Except where her crazy brother is concerned. Whoa, 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 whoa. My screen froze. Oh no. Okay, it's back. Oh my god. Watch out for Barney. He's a little bit twitchy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
help. Please. We need help. What happened? <sighs> Some infected attacked us. Tore our windmill apart. All our UVs are down. I'm not sure how I can help. <sighs> if we don't get our lamps back on, we won't survive the night. All right. I'll do what I can. Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Dang. Satan. I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Oh, boy. supposed to do Barney are you who the fuck are you hey, Sophie sent me yeah right and I'm a PK general whoever you are fuck off these are our crystals you get it you want them. <laughs> Barney open up fuck off Sophie I found Barney but he's locked himself in a room he's alive good Stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! <laughs> Barney, your sister is worried about you. Don't you even keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky you're busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two. Three, go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! This dude... Great. Don't touch 
That's it. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Birdie. We gotta find Birdie. Who? He lured away the infected. When they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. Yeah, no kidding. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! This dude. This dude. <sighs> He's just, We never did that other mission. I don't think it's even gonna give us a choice to do it anymore. The one where we had to help that those people turn on their UV light. jump. Oh no. I don't know where you jumped, Alfred. Must be must have been right here, I guess. Thank you. 
Bro, I, this is, I know I wouldn't survive in this world. I would have died so quick. <laughs> Dang, game about to blind me. Oh, my God. Dude, that flash hit me. Oh my god, that screen was a little too white. You mean to tell me that would protect me, bro? My back would be in shambles. Oh my god. Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Oh, Lord. Where, where, where? I'm surrounded by him. I literally turned on my flashlight and they were just looking at me. I was like, oh, hello. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, Lord. Okay, good. Oh, my God. Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan. What's going on? Nathan? Nathan! <sighs> Barney. You there? Barney? Aiden, are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back.
back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Oh, oh, oh. It was just an immunity booster. It wasn't an inhibitor there. Book it, man. Book it. Alfred. Oh. Sophie has interesting people working. Yeah, I had to like take a plunge into the street <laughs> and lose half my health. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You know, you know what, you ugly mother. You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. Bro, I will not. We've got our own interests to look you. after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. I'm the reason I'm the one you got you out of there. You were dead meat with without me. Ah, not again, you piece of Think you're in pain now? Keep talking. Oh. Yeah, mess him up. Oh, my sister found some weird tapes inside in the bed. Oh, fuck it all. <laughs> I thought we didn't have to work so quickly. You'll <laughs> get used to it. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. No, I mean, you can get Barney along. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? When can I get... When can I get you all down in my bed and slide it up like a piece of... barbecue? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> you's a sick bastard for that one. Matter of fact, a sick nigga.
if anybody doesn't know what I'm referencing, please watch Rush Hour 3. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because <laughs> they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Man's got Way more w real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. <laughs> we needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Alright then, girl, be bad by yourself. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? <laughs> Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help <laughs> themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. That's cold-blooded. That's cold-blooded. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. I, I, Miss, Miss Beautiful Blondie. Uh huh. I will do it for you. It show is, and it's about 
five foot eleven, blonde and blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs>